In this video, I will talk about economic production quantity EPQ model with deterministic demand. We introduced the basic EOQ models in the previous videos. A company needs to place orders with outside suppliers and maintain an inventory to satisfy their own or their customers' demands. In some situations, a business may choose to produce goods internally rather than ordering them from an outside supplier. If a company meets demand by making its own products, the economic production quantity EPQ model will be more realistic than the basic EOQ model. The EPQ model aims to find the optimal production lot size that minimizes the total cost. In the EPQ model, we know the following parameters. D is the total demand. It is measured in units of products per year. K is the unit setup cost. It is measured in dollars per production run. P is the unit producing cost. It is measured in dollars per unit of products. H is the unit holding cost. It is measured in dollars per unit of products per year. R is the production rate. It is measured in units per year. Normally, the production rate R should be greater than or equal to the demand or consumption rate D. Otherwise, there will be shortages. The EPQ model determines the most economic production quantity X that minimizes the yearly sum of setup cost, production cost, and holding cost. The total cost is denoted by TC, which is a function of X. This figure shows the inventory level of the EPQ model. At the beginning, we produce at a rate of R units per year, and at the same time consume at a rate of D units per year. So the inventory level increases at a rate of R minus D, which is the slope of this line. After the production period is finished, the inventory level will decrease at the normal consumption rate of D. After the inventory level is decreased to zero, another production will start. This is a cycle. The length of the cycle is still x over d. It measures how long the x units of products will be consumed completely with a consumption rate of d. The length of the production period is x over r. It measures how long the x units of products will be produced with a production rate of r. The annual setup cost is equal to the unit setup cost times the number of production runs. The unit setup cost is k dollars per production run. And the number of production runs is d over x per year. The annual producing cost is equal to the unit producing cost times the demand in the year. The unit producing cost is p dollars per unit. And the demand is d units per year. The holding cost per cycle is equal to the unit holding cost times the inventory in a cycle. The unit holding cost is H dollars per unit per year, and the inventory in a cycle is the area of the triangle, which is the length of the base, x over d, times the height, r minus d, times x over r, divided by 2. The annual holding cost is equal to the holding cost per cycle times the number of cycles in a year. The holding cost per cycle is just this, and the number of cycles is d over x. The annual total cost is the sum of the annual setup cost, the annual producing cost, and the annual holding cost. Let's take the second order derivative. We know that the unit setup cost k is greater than zero, the demand is greater than zero and the production quantity x is also greater than zero. So the second order derivative must be greater than zero. This objective function is a convex function. This is the minimization problem. In order to find the optimal solution, we let the first order derivative equal to zero, and so for x. The optimal solution is x star, which is the economic production quantity, or EPQ.
Let's plug this value back into the objective function. This is the result. We can also move this item to the right hand side and get this equation. Let's multiply both sides by x star. We have this new equation. The left hand side is the annual setup cost and the right hand side is the annual holding cost. It means at the optimal solution, the annual setup cost must be equal to the annual holding cost. So the total cost is minimized. If the production rate is a very large number compared to the demand, this EPQ model is equivalent to an EOQ model with zero lead time. That means this item will become one, and the production stage is very short. This is an example. A computer technology company sells 0.3 million computers per year. This is D. The company owns a factory and produces all the computers they sell. The setup cost is 6,600 per production run. This is K. The producing cost is $500 per computer. This is P. The holding cost is $30 per computer per year. This is H. The production rate is 0.5 million computers a year. This is R. R is greater than D, so there will be no shortage. Let's answer these questions. What is the EPQ? What is the cycle time? How many production runs will be planned each year? Now let's just use the formula to calculate the EPQ, which is about 18,000 computers per production run. The cycle time is 0.061 years, or about 22 days. There will be a total of 16.5 production runs during the year. The annual setup cost is equal to the annual holding cost, and they are both equal to about $109,000 per year. Okay, that is about the EPQ inventory model with deterministic demand. Thanks for watching.